Hey everyone, it's Prisley at actoutgames.com here, and today is Comic Book Thursday, and I am going to be reviewing Planet Hulk 2 and the Unbeatable Bull Squirrel Girl 7. Okay, so let's start with Squirrel Girl, which I highly recommend any of the books in the series. Not specifically this one. This one's really good, but the whole, the entire thing is really good. So if you haven't read a Squirrel Girl comic book, do it now. They're amazing. They're all really funny. So it starts out with Squirrel Girl's Twitter feed, and the second page in the book is already hilarious. The second page in the entire book is this and it's hilarious, including this ad. So it's super duper cool. It's actually a Twitter account, so you can go and look at her Twitter account. She's actually retweeted something for me, which was super duper cool. So it's the comic, the story starts out, she's in this computer class, and everyone starts getting mad because a little rodent told one of the students that their teacher was selling grades. So um, everyone starts arguing, half of the people are arguing and rioting over how their teacher is selling grades. I don't know if he's actually selling grades or it's just a rumor. I'll talk a little bit more about that in a few minutes. And the, ha the other half are arguing about which database model is the best, which is kind of funny because half the people are rioting over a completely believable thing. I would be upset. I would want to start rioting if my teacher was selling good grades. But the other people are just arguing over which database model is the best and com are completely oblivious that their teacher is selling grades. Or some little rodent told someone that their teacher was selling, was selling grades. So they're all arguing and lots of people are arguing around town and they figure out that's because of Rodden Oscar, who is basically the North God of gossip. So, Reddit Asker is going around from house to house like some little demented squirrel Santa Claus thing. And she's running around and telling, and either spreading rumors about people that aren't true or telling everyone the worst things about all these people, making them completely oblivious to the good side. I don't know which one, they're both pretty believable. So everyone starts arguing about random stuff, and since Reddit Oscar is from North Mythology, Squirrel Girl wants to talk to Thor because he's also from North Mythology. Except, so she goes to the Avengers HQ to try and find to try and find Thor. Thor's not there. All the Avengers are arguing, and they're starting to talk bad about her and her friends, which makes her mad, and she beats up the event. She beats up the Avengers. It's not said how she beats up the Avengers. It's kind of uh, one page, she's at the Avengers HQ, and the next they're all beat up. So it's pretty funny how on one page, here she is, she's at the Avengers HQ with all the Avengers uh, talking bad about her and her friends, and the next page they're beat up. So it's pretty eh, so it's pretty cool. So then she is she talks to Thor and Thor is caught in this argument between people who like pancakes and waffles which evolves into an argument about pancakes, waffles and french toast. So Thor and girl and girl Thor, not girl squirrel, girl girl Thor are in this giant are caught in this giant argument and she told him about Rat at Oscar. So now that they know that it's Rat at Oscar um they have to figure out how to stop Reddit Oscar from spreading these rumors and let Earth go back to normal. And I really like how Thor describes Reddit Oscar as the ultimate troll, as the ultimate troll, uh, which I think is pretty funny. So while he's talking about Reddit Oscar, he's saying all these things about her in North mythology, and then he says basically she's the ultimate troll. So I find that pretty funny. Squirrel Girl comics are really, really funny, so that's why I really like them. So they also have these little comments on the bottom of the pages, which is Squirrel Girl's basically commentary of what's going on. So it's a little extra Squirrel Girl, and it's really funny. It's written in the same style as her dialogue, so it's pretty fun to look at. And even though it's just a little ta detail, it adds a lot to, to the humor and story, so it's super duper cool. Okay, so let's move on to Planet Hulk issue two, uh, which is really cool, and I'm absolutely in love still with the combination of one of the Captain Americas and Devil Dino. 
dinosaur, specifically devil dino, plus Captain America equals amazing. And I'm even wearing a dinosaur shirt, which I didn't notice until now, but it's super cool. I'm wearing the Clever Girl shirt, which we bought to kind of point out that I'm a girl, and also I love Jurassic Park, so yeah, I got this. <laughs> Anyways, we're on to the comic book. So they meet Doc Green, and he is going to try and help them find the Red Hulk so they can find Bucky. So they're kind of going through these swamplands uh, with Doc Green, and it's super duper cool. Um, there's a waterfall, and I and Devil Dino roars a lot, which is cool because it's just so awesome to imagine giant red tyrannosaur dinosaurs roaring. It's just so cool. Um, and they have some uh, a flashback in here, and there's even more Devil Dino roaring, which is amazing. And they're and they're keeping going through the Hulk, the Hulk Park of Battle World, and as they try and find the Red Hulk, which is super amazing. Like all these characters combined into one comic book is just so cool, and I highly recommend it. And I'm really excited to see the rest of the Battle World stuff, Secret Wars, because, like, I wonder what kind of stuff. I wonder what kind of stuff will happen, and what characters will meet, and it's just super cool. Like just thinking about the possibilities like endless possibilities happening in battle world it's the amazing characters that you can put together um we also got giant days issue four i think it is yeah five four four it says four <laughs> so we also got giant days issue four and oddly normal chapter three which were both super duper good and i recommend those but we didn't have time to do a review on them too but if you Oddly Normal is a really cool comic book if you want to get if you want some like quirky fantasy realm stuff and Giant Days is like no normal high school setting thing except it's done really well. Um, some things can't really pull off the high school school people thing, but Giant Days pulls it off really well. And it's also from our friends over at Boom Studios where we met Liz Prince. And it's super cool to have a really well executed Giant Day, Giant Days, which is really well done, and is also from Boom Studios. So amazing comic books we got today. Definitely check them out. So yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.